So I have been thinking about my life today and the things I've done, places I've been, whatever I've achieved and whatever. And I'm trying to judge whether my life has been lived well and have I done enough with my life. Because life is obviously limited and you have only one chance to do what you're going to do. So I'm looking at what I've done with my life and trying to judge whether I'm satisfied with how I've performed in life. Have I done enough? Have I been to enough places? Have I achieved enough and tried to do enough so that I can be satisfied with how I've done? And I think it's an interesting thing to do and I do want to recommend it to people. I haven't come to any conclusions yet, but I'm wondering if I've done enough in life. So I'm thinking of my educational history, for example. I only reached first degree level. I didn't do a master's or PhD or anything like that. So I think I'm satisfied with reaching degree level. I don't think I wanted to go any further. So I'm not disappointed with how far I've been educationally. So that's okay. And then I'm thinking of my um, work history. And I've had several jobs. And I've reached uh, a job of um, IT manager for a, a large international company, which was quite significant. And I realized I didn't work hard enough for that job. I didn't do enough stuff to try and progress and uh, try and go further. But um, and what else have I done? I've done computer consultancy work. I've done software programming work. I was a bartender and that's a part-time kind of role. Uh, bowling alley is in three parts. Um, what else have I done? I have to think in detail of what I've done, but um, I've done a few jobs in life. And um, I tended to want to do work where I was more independent in my work. I wasn't, I wasn't so keen on working in a team or whatever. I wanted to do my own thing, mostly. So I'm wondering and thinking now if I'm happy with the choices I've made in life. And have I lived well? I'm 48 now. So, um, my ability to do anything new is kind of reduced. So I am just living on the state at the moment due to injury. So um, I'm not actually contributing to society, to society now, except for giving work to do for support staff. But I think on balance I have done quite a lot in the world with my life. So I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I think I would like to have done more and become maybe more rich. But then I have to wonder there's only so much benefit to being rich. You can buy more stuff and whatever, but you still live your life regardless. So I'm not massively disappointed at not being rich. But that was never a, an ambition of mine, really. I wanted to earn good money, but um, I wasn't interested in proper wealth. And I'm wondering why. Why did I not try and become rich? I don't know why it never occurred to me to go for wealth. But I'm thinking of the guys who have made it in the world financially. And it is incredibly impressive, obviously. And I don't properly understand how they did it. And I'm wondering how much I would have achieved if I had concentrated on making money. But my ambition in life was to be well paid for my jobs. 
I wasn't aiming to be rich. It wasn't a priority for some reason. And I can't explain why. Maybe I should have thought of being rich and tried. So my judgment of my life so far is that I don't feel disappointed in how I've lived. I'm very glad about that, obviously. But I think I could have done more. So I, I'm not disappointed exactly, but I, I do think I could have achieved more if I put my mind to it. I definitely had the work ethic, but I didn't have a plan, I would say. So what can I, I want to recommend to people out there, particularly younger guys, to try and think of a plan and follow the plan through. I think that's worthwhile. It's too easy in life to just stumble along and just meander and not work properly hard. And so you end up just going with the flow. I think if you want to achieve something, you need to have a plan in your mind and aim for it. And maybe you could make something of yourself. I'm thinking of millionaires and whatever. And I don't understand how they achieved it. But it must be a plan to begin with. There must be a way of doing things and an objective to aim for. Rather than just working day to day and not concentrating. So I'm wondering what I might have achieved if I had focused properly on achieving something. If I had set a goal for myself and aimed for the goal. But then I'm thinking, it's hard to, to judge what's really important in life. I've started and run businesses and I was in control of the businesses, so I was happy about that. I've been a manager of people, I've been an independent worker, I've been a Taekwondo instructor. I've made a video documentary, which has been quite well known around the world. I've had two children, I've been married, I've owned a house and a flat. I have, um, I have lived, I suppose. Um, I have done stuff. Um, I'm not disappointed in how I've lived. But at the same time, I still know I could have done more if I had made a plan. And I didn't concentrate properly and formulate a plan. I was too much going with the flow in life. And so I didn't achieve as much as I could have, I'm sure. So it's hard to know where I might have gone and what I might have achieved if I had concentrated properly. So it is interesting to wonder.